Now we are in the discussion on the topic scales and scales we are going to solve a problem on plane scale and this is the second solved problem we are discussing under plane scale then we will move towards the problem the given problem is construct a scale of 1 is to 14 to read feet and inches and long enough to measure 7 feet show a distance of 5 feet and 10 inches on it now we will extract the data from the given problem while extracting the data from the given problem we need to answer for the following questions the first question is what is the representative fraction value second question is what is the measurement to be shown on the scale third question is what is the name of the scale to be constructed fourth question is what is the maximum length which the scale can measure fifth question is what is the length of the scale value to be calculated in terms of centimeters here the representative fraction value is 1 by 14. RF value is equal to length on the drawing by actual length, which is equal to 1 by 14. That is, the actual length is to be reduced to 14 times. So, it comes under reduced scale problem. Then, the measurement to be shown on the scale is 5 feet and 10 inches. That is, feet are on the main scale, inches are on the subscale. Here, 1 foot is equal to 12 inches feet are on the main scale that is 5 feet on the main scale 10 inches on the subscale that means we are going to construct plane scale what do you mean by plane scale a plane scale is used to measure up to two consecutive units a main unit and its immediate subunit here the main units are in terms of feet and subunits are in terms of inches here one foot is equal to 12 inches then the maximum length which the scale can measure is 7 feet then we will calculate the length of the scale value in terms of centimeters length of the scale value is equal to rf into maximum length here rf value is given in the problem as 1 by 14 and maximum length value is 7 feet then the 7 feet is to be converted in terms of inches and inches are to be converted in terms of centimeters then 1 foot is equal to 12 inches, 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. After simplifying this, we will get length of the scale value as 15.24 centimeters. Why we are calculating the length of the scale value in terms of centimeters? Because for drawing purpose, we are using a roller. That roller is in terms of centimeters. That's why we are calculating the length of the scale value in terms of centimeters. Here. The maximum length which the scale can measure is 7 feet and length of the scale value is 15.24 centimeters. As I said earlier, RF is equal to length of the drawing by actual length. Length of the drawing is 15.24 centimeters, whereas its actual length is 7 feet. Then RF is equal to 1 by 14. Then the length of the drawing is 15.24 centimeters, that is the length of the drawing is 15.24 centimeters, whereas its actual length is 7 feet then the actual length is to be divided into seven parts and each part becomes one foot then the first main division is to be divided in terms of inches here one foot is equal to 12 inches with this basic information we'll start the construction of plane scale now we are going to construct the plane scale with length of the scale as 15.24 centimeters so with 15.24 centimeters as a length and assumed width as 1 to 1.5 centimeters draw one rectangle Here, the length of the rectangle represents the 7 feet. That means, we need to divide this rectangle into 7 equal parts. Dividing 15.24 centimeters into 
seven equal parts directly with scale is not possible. For that, we'll use acute angle line method. It's also called dividing a line into equal parts concept. Here, this rectangle is with H pencil that is with 100% darkness. Whereas, this construction part is with 3H pencil that is with 25% darkness. At this end, draw acute angle line. From this point onwards, take 7 equal divisions. Say, 2 cm, 4 cm, 6 cm, 8 cm, 10 cm, 12 cm. 14 centimeters total 7 divisions after that with drafter lose this drafter snap then align one of the scale to 7 and another end of the bottom length of a rectangle then tight this knob Then draw a line, this line to be very very light, that means it's a construction line. Parallel to this, passing through 6, draw a line. Similarly, repeat the procedure through the points say 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is this construction part is with 3H pencil. At the end of the first division, mark it as 0 and mark remaining divisions on the baseline as say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is, these divisions are in terms of feet. Passing through 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 draw perpendicular to this length line. Alternatively, in the middle of the meridian divisions draw horizontal bars. The first main division is to be divided into 12 equal parts because 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. So we need to divide first main division into 12 equal parts. For dividing first main division into 12 equal parts, we are going to use acute angle line method. Here, we will number the subdivisions from 0 to leftward. Here, we will give numbers for the alternative divisions. From these subdivisions, draw perpendiculars to this horizontal bar. Here, we need to show the measurement on the scale as 5 feet and 10 inches. Here, these main divisions are in terms of feet and subdivisions are in terms of inches. So, we will take 5 feet from the main scale and 10 divisions from the subscale. These 5 feet 10 inches can also be represented like this.
then write the main unit say feet below the right end of the scale and sub unit say inches below the first main division and also or a factor also to be written below the scale here these units are written in terms of capital letters make a note at the end of the first division we will number it as 0 and the remaining main units are numbered from 0 to rightward direction and subdivisions are numbered from 0 to leftward direction here the rectangle and the main divisions are with H pencil that is with 100% darkness whereas the subdivisions are also with H pencil that is with 75% darkness whereas construction part is with 3H pencil that is with 25% darkness here why we divided the first main division into 12 equal parts because 1 foot is equal to 12 inches that's why we divided first main division into 12 equal parts that's about the construction of plane scale for the given problem mm -hmm.